right now I'm here with uh, a guy called the Masterpiece. Yes, yes, Chris Masters. That is that is something that. Um, yeah, I can That's why they call me the masterpiece. Yes. Well, I can only dream of something like that at my time of life. <laughs> yeah. But tell me, tell me one thing though. I've asked all the other wrestlers the same, basically the same question, and I don't know if your answer will be different. But what made you really, really want to become a wrestler? Because it's not something that people take up every day. Uh, well, I loved it as a kid. It was mm. my passion. I watched it since I was five years old, and. I turned 16 years old and it was like a career day for me yeah. and uh, I was like what am I going to do with my life yeah. and it was really an easy decision to make because the yeah. only thing I was passionate about was wrestling. I was yeah. the guy hitting my friends with backpacks in the lockers and throwing them into yeah. you know yeah. uh, imitating professional wrestlers yeah. so uh, by the age of 16 I was like that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Now tell me the other thing is uh, what all, our guy, all the guys watching in this program will all be asking me to ask you. How long does it take you to get a physique like that? I mean, we like go. This? Yes, well, we like go. Uh, you know, I've been working out about 12 years. Yeah. Takes consistency, tons of eating. I mean, it's a lifestyle, you know? Yeah. It's a lifestyle. And it's part of what we do, you know? You yeah. gotta build yourself up to be strong yeah. to do professional wrestling. So, uh, you know, it's an uh, everyday routine for me. Yeah. How long do you spend in the gym every day? Now, one of your colleagues, he told me he has a golden rule, never spend more than 73 minutes per day in the gym because I, it can undo what you're doing, basically. Hey, overtraining, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of agree with that. I mean, it, that's kind of an odd number, yeah. but it makes sense. But I was going to say 60 to uh, 60 minutes to yeah. an hour and 20 yeah. minutes or so yeah. is enough. You know, if you get in there and you get down to it yeah. and you're not socializing the whole yeah. time, that's more than enough time to get in there and get a good workout yeah. and get your blood circulating and feel good about yourself, yeah. you know? Yeah, now the other thing is, of course, you're here in Qatar now, but I, I, next, I don't know, next week you could be in Japan. Don't you have a jet from Maryland? A jet lag, sorry. I mean, uh, yeah. when you're coming to these different time zones. Well, this one was tough, yeah, because it took 15 hours from Los Angeles to yeah. Dubai and then Dubai to Qatar here. Yeah. So it really drained me the first night. But, uh, you know, as long as you have a day to settle in, mm. get eight hours of sleep and wake up, it's like mm. you're able to adjust within a couple of days. So, like, right now I feel pretty good, and this is my third day here, so. Now I want to ask you a, a question I've asked everybody. What do you think of the crowds for your first time in Qatar? What are the crowds like in Qatar? I mean, what, how do you like them? I love them because the, I feel like this is very almost kind of new for them. Mm. And for us, it reminds us of the wrestling fans of America but back in the earlier decades, like mm. the 80s and 90s, like a lot of these people haven't seen some of the simplest stuff and they love it, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's uh, it's really, it's not about being overcomplicated out there, it's yeah. about giving a good show yeah. and giving them something they can understand and digest yeah. and a good story. Now, how, how long do you expect to stay as a professional wrestler? I mean, does it, is it like, uh, the question I'm trying to ask you, is it like, a, you know, the, the professional tennis players where, they go up to a certain point like Roger Federer and they reach 29 or 30 and then you know they start to jade, they get a bit jaded. How long do you think the life of a professional wrestler can last? Uh, Generally well, speaking. I might be already jaded but um, <laughs> I've been doing it 10 years or a little over that maybe yeah. now. I'm 30 years old mm. so I really don't know. I mean I could try to push this yeah. thing. Uh, mo my, the thing that comes to mind most mm -hmm. is, you know what, as long as I can do what I love to do mm -hmm. and get paid to do it, I'm going to keep doing it. But at the same time, there's parts of you that want to, you know, expand into different yeah. horizons yeah. and try different things. So I don't know what the future holds. I mean, I'm 30 now, so I could wrestle possibly another 10 years, but yeah. maybe not. And the chances are probably not. Yeah. So when you have finished, you know, being as this has been your life, yeah. I mean, what what would you turn your hand to? What would you like to turn your hand oh, to? I'm going to run for office. You know, I'll start out with the Senate or Congress and uh, eventually probably run for the President of the United States. Really? Peace, peace. Yeah, God bless America. Yeah. Uh, oh. I think I'm the guy to do it. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah, the yeah. guy to do it. It's not a fact you might be. You know? I can make change. Yeah, after after listening to what we've been listening to over the last few years, I think I think you might be the guy to do it. Chris, <laughs> Chris, well, thank the government's you. in shutdown. I yeah. think anybody needs that. Oh, yeah. geez. Yeah, thank you. Chris, thanks very much. All Thank right, you pleasure. very much indeed. Thank you for Thank having you. me. All right.